Oh, okay. Oh man. Hey guys, what's up, man? I'm glad y'all showed up. Well, why do you show up after the work is done? See, it'd be the ones that's closest to you, man. Y'all, you show up when the work is done, I'm all sweaty and stuff. Anyways, let me talk about these, uh, what is a Skull Candy Hesh 3. You know what? I have never actually showcased a Hesh headphone on my channel before. There's been a Hesh, Hesh 2, Hesh 3, and then we got the Hesh ANC. Did I say this was the Hesh 3? No, this is the Hesh ANC right here. So, uh, spoiler alert, they are awesome. What I like about the Hesh is uh, Skull Candy decided we need a quality sounding headphone with the quality build, but without all the fluff of all the you know, the technical stuff that people ask for, like app support, it doesn't have that. Uh, they don't have like swipe controls and, you know, other things that can really go wrong with the headphones. Because let's just be honest, man, sometimes these things don't work out well in the end. But what they give you is a great battery life. You know, let's, I gotta go in here and do some other stuff. So follow me in here and we'll talk about these headphones. So they give you a fantastic battery life. Uh, I forget what it is, it's probably like, uh, uh, what is it like 24 hours or something like that? So good battery life uh, They do have the tile feature in there So if you're one of those cats who <laughs> for some reason just loses your stuff something as big as a set of over your headphones You can definitely uh, find it using the tile Functionality that's built into this and there's a whole community behind that So apparently there's a whole bunch of people that be losing their stuff And so it kind of just maps itself together to pinpoint where your headphones are but as far as technologies go, that's it outside of the ANC, which we will test later on, man. Don't get your panties all in a bunch. Let's talk about the build quality. Look at that. No crickety cracking in this. That's awesome, man. These are well-built headphones and they are flexible and I don't feel like they'll be breaking, you know, with a, a, a moderate use. If you're super abusive with your stuff, then don't, just don't buy headphones. <laughs> <laughs> because they're gonna break if, if you are abusive with your stuff. But these are quality built for the average person. Uh, they do swivel, so they swivel in and out, and then they do fold. They do come with a, a carrying pouch. Let's go them over here and look at this. They do come with a carrying pouch. So uh, you'll get this in there, and then you'll get your USB-C charging cable, as well as a, uh, does this have an inline mic in there? I didn't even check. Uh, no, you don't have a mic in here, so when you plug these in, uh, uh, via uh, the cord, you're actually going to be using the mic from the headphones when you're using it as a cord or with the cord. So as far as uh, technologies, they're kind of stripped down in a way in the sense that they don't have an app, but they do have that tile support. They got A and C, but these are built for one thing. You put them on, you turn them on, and you get your jam on. You see what I did there? So the Hash A and C, they got a quality build, quality sound, and that's really all you need. Now, as far as the button layout, they do have a typical Skull Candy style of um, button layout with your plus and minus up here. Everything's kind of like on one strip of neoprene. And once you get adjusted to it, I actually adjusted to it really quick. So once you get adjusted to it, you know, it's gonna be really easy to figure this out. Uh, that button up at the top is your A and C button and it will control, if you if you single tap it, it's gonna either turn the A and C on or off. If you double tap it, that engages your ambient sound. And the center button, which is the play and pause, that also doubles as your power button. That's the multifunction button. Other than that, seriously, man, no swipe controls, no nothing else. This is straight about music right here. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I love it. Now, as far as comfort, if you have had the crushers or the crusher, uh, if you've had the crush, the regular crusher wireless, if you've had the uh, the original hash or hash two or hash three, if you've had the venues, if you've had any of the crusher lineup, the Evos or whatever, the it's all gonna feel the same. They feel the exact same as those, but some of those don't have memory ear cups or memory foam ear cups. These actually have a memory foam here, so they are ultra ultra comfortable. The clamping for is good but they really do block out the sound with these memory foam ear cups or ear pads and they just feel good laying across your uh, or laying across your ears it's just a good feeling man great headphones and i stinking love them as a matter of fact they've been good to work with as i've been working uh yeah you're gonna have some sweat build up if you're working out and stuff like that but for the most part uh, you're going to be very, very comfortable using these uh, headphones right here. But you know what? Uh, let me put my shoes on because we got to take a trip 
uh, outside in my controlled environment so we can test out all the noise cancellation and stuff like that. You ready? Let's go. All right, guys, I'm here at my highly controlled laboratory where we have paid actors and stuff. We actually had enough money in the budget today to build a backdrop of Home Depot, so that's nice. We need to applaud the guys who built that backdrop and let's applaud all these paid actors. We even got a street here for you with people driving through, so this is nice. And right now, you're actually hearing the call quality of the microphones in the headset. So if you were talking to a buddy, this is probably what they're going to hear. Give or take a little bit, you know what I'm saying? This is this is a quality, uh, uh, controlled environmentally te uh, environmental test, so... You know, got to take that with a grain of salt. But I'm not going to do a jam session today. <clears throat> what I will do is I'm going to put this microphone in this ear cup. I'm going to play some YouTube copy pri copyright free music so you can see if there's going to be a shift in audio quality or any degradation or anything once you turn on the ANC and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm turning off this recording right now. So right now you're actually getting recording from the actual microphone that I have on my lapel here. And I'm going to go into my music player. Hold up, man. Hold up. Going into the music player. Hold on. Hold on. All right. So we're there. And I'm going to take this microphone, put it in this ear cup. You're not going to get stereo sound. Okay. So I don't want to see any comments about, you know, nothing. You're going to get mono sound from one ear cup, <laughs> but you will hear music. Here we go. Get that nice and snug. Right now, the noise cancellation is off. Noise cancelling on. Huh? Noise cancelling off. Noise cancelling on. Ambient mode. Yeah. Man, that sounds real natural, that ambient mode. That... Noise cancelling on. Oh man, that noise cancellation is good. You can't hear any of the traffic. <laughs> Cancelling off. Ambient mode. Noise cancelling off. Ambient mode. Noise cancelling on. Hey, these things do jam, bro. They do jam, I will tell you that. You know, these things sound really good. You know, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, well, which one sounds better, the Crusher Evo or these, or the, the, the what is it, the, uh, the Venue? I say Skull Candy has a, uh, a signature sound when it comes to all of their headphones. And this is right on level with all of their headphones. It's not better, it's not worse, it's right on level with those which is fantastic, I love their sound. They do have a bass heavier sound signature, more along the lines with something you would see from Soundcore, but it is, I'm, I'm gonna use the term well balanced, but still bass heavy. You get that thump, uh, you, you definitely get that thump, but you still get your mids and highs, they sound really good. I love Skull Candy's signature sound. You don't get an app or an EQ with these, and you, it, to be honest with you, you shouldn't need it. Uh, Skull Candy's market target is, is not for people who use apps, okay? <laughs> or not for people who use EQs, I should say. They have EQ'd these well enough for the average user to listen to. I love the sound that comes out of these. But I don't know if you could hear it through my test, but when you turn on the ANC, you do get kind of like a volume uh, reduction. And I don't, maybe a slight bass reduction when you turn the active noise cancellation on. Uh, and they do that in a lot of different headphones simply because when you turn on active noise cancellation, you're probably going to be listening to your music, I don't know, pretty low, somewhere under 50%, more like 30 or 40%. So you, you really don't need all that. And so when you turn your music up, 
turn that noise cancellation off because you don't need it. The music is gonna be your noise cancellation. So that way that full sound comes in. I don't know if you actually heard that sound shift. It doesn't, to, in my opinion, the sound quality remains. I think you just get a slight volume reduction and just a little bit of the bass gets pulled back. But other than that, I don't even take, I don't even, uh, I don't even wanna say that as a hit toward the headphones. I think that's actually pretty good, man. So in my opinion, these are great headphones to purchase, even for the price. I mean, I think they, they hit a home run with this, boom, right out of the park, man. But you know what? These guys are on the clock, okay? So if y'all want me to keep doing these tests, I gotta cut this a little short because I gotta let them clock out because I'm paying them by an hour. <laughs> Anyways, man, y'all gotta get out of here. I gotta go into this fake Home Depot and get some building materials for my soundproofing at the, at the laboratory. So y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. Whoa, 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 let me get this straight. You sat through this whole video, the whole thing, and never once decided to hit the subscribe button or the like button. Man, it'd be the ones closest to you. I'll see how you are. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?